Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, which we celebrate in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pray for one another because prayer for one another is the best prayer of all. We are also very blessed that in this celebration, we pray in front of the image of Our Lady of Fatima as we continue to pray for peace, conversion in this world. We also celebrate this Mass in front of the blood relic of Saint Pope John Paul II, the Pope of Peace the Pope who prayed for peace. And so in this Eucharist, let us bring our petitions for peace to Jesus, our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger so that we may rejoice 
in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing a song of praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church and they should pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick person and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The fervent prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. Elijah was a man like us, yet he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain upon the land. Then Elijah prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you should stray from the truth and someone bring him back, he should know that whoever brings back a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come like incense before you. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, to you I call. Hasten to me, hearken to my voice when I call upon you. Let my prayer come like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, set a watch before my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. For toward you, O God, my Lord, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of life. Let my prayer come like incense before you. Please so stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen. I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. 
Then he embraced the children and blessed them, placing his hands on them. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Today, we are being taught by our Lord Jesus Christ of the power of prayer. And not only prayer, but the power of prayer for others. Praying for one another is very powerful. Our first reading today from the letter of St. James reminds us of this, that even in the early church, during biblical times, Christians have been praying already for one another. Ang buhay kristyano noon pa man ay tungkol sa pananalangin at pagdarasal sa bawat isa. We do not only pray for ourselves, we pray for each other. Alam ko po, kayong mga nagsimba dito ngayon at mga nakikinig at uh, nakikibahagi sa atin through the online mass, alam ko may dala ko kayong mga petisyon. Hindi lang po para sa inyong sarili. Alam ko may dala kayong mga petisyon ng ibang tao. And that is a very Christian thing to do. And I think that makes our prayer even more powerful. When we pray not only for ourselves, but when we pray for others. In the first reading today, St. James tells us, If anyone among you who are sick, call the priests. Go to the church, and the priests will pray over that sick person for healing and forgiveness. By praying for one another, we do not just recite words. We lead each other closer to Jesus. In the first reading, it is also said, If anyone among you should stray from the truth, then you can bring him back to Jesus. You can bring him back to the truth. My dear brothers and sisters, this tells us that praying for one another is also leading one another to Jesus. Kapag pinagdarasal po natin ang bawat isa, dinadala din po natin ang bawat isa papalapit kay Jesus. And we can see that in our Gospel reading today. In the Gospel reading today, the action of the people were to bring children closer to Jesus. I think this is a beautiful image, a beautiful picture of us praying for one another. That praying for one another means we bring, we carry each other closer to Jesus. Ang ibig sabihin po ng pagdarasal natin sa bawat isa ay hindi lamang pagsasalita, pagdarasal ng mga salita. Tingnan natin ito bilang pagdadala, pagbubuhat natin sa isa't isa, patungo at papalapit kay Jesus. 
Isn't this a beautiful image of prayer? We carry each other. We bring each other closer to Jesus. I remember one teaching of Saint Jose Maria Escriba, the founder of the Opus Dei. One time, he was teaching about praying for your enemies. And he said, when you see your enemy, do not tell him that ah, you are my enemy, you irritate me. Instead, he said, when you see your enemy, tell that enemy, you sanctify me. Why? Because that enemy leads you to pray for him. And your enemy can sanctify you. Kapag nakita niyo ang inyong kaaway, sabi ni San Jose Maria Escriba, huwag niyo agad sabihin na, alam mo, naiirita ako sa iyo, no? Ikaw ang nagpapainit ng ulo ko. Sabihin mo daw, alam mo, ikaw ang kaaway ko, pero pinapabanal mo ako. Kasi dahil sa iyo, napapadasal ako ng marami, no? You sanctify me. My dear brothers and sisters, you see, when we pray for each other, we bring each other closer to Jesus. When we pray for one another, we carry each other to Jesus. And so, when you pray for your enemy, you tell him or her, yes, you are my enemy, but I can pray for you. I will carry you closer to Jesus. And because I, you make me pray for you, you also bring me closer to Jesus. Even if we are enemies, let us bring each other closer to Jesus. Prayer for each other means bringing and carrying one another closer to our Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today we also specially pray for peace in Ukraine. Especially that the victims of war will always be children. And in the Gospel reading today, Jesus reprimanded the disciples for being harsh to children. Children are close to the heart of Jesus. And just the other day, a news came out. One of the first casualties who died is a 13-year-old child in Ukraine. Let us pray for Ukraine. And let us even pray for Russia. We pray even for enemies. We pray even for aggressors. That their hearts, according to Our Lady, Our Lady of Fatima, may be led to conversion. We saw, each, we saw the other day that even Russians in Russia are praying and protesting to stop the war, to stop violence, to stop this invasion. Yes, if we pray for one another, we can carry each other to Jesus to stop the violence and for the conversion of the aggressors. My dear brothers and sisters, Prayer for one another is very powerful because we carry and bring each other to Jesus. In this sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, let us pray for one another and lead each other closer to Jesus. Amen.
Please stand. With confidence, we come and present our needs to God our Father, who loves all His children. For every petition, let us say, Father, look upon your children. Father, look upon your children. That the leaders of the church may teach her members the true dignity of marriage, and so help couples remain faithful to their vocation, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father look, look upon, upon your, your children. children. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father look, look upon, upon your, your children. children. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitment, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father look, look upon, upon your children. children. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Father, look, look upon, upon your, your children. children. That those who have died may find a place in God's eternal kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father look, look upon, upon your, your children. children. Almighty Father, you have given us marriage as a sign of your love. Help us to live in harmony with one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, 
brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having nourished us with heavenly food, O Lord, grant that according to the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may serve you in purity of life and magnify you with her in wholehearted praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel as we all together pray the prayer to St. John Paul II. All together, O St. John Paul II, from the window of heaven, grant, grant us, us your, your blessing. blessing. Bless, Bless the, the church that, that you loved and, and served and, and guided, guided courageously, courageously leading it in along the paths of the world, world in, in order, order to bring Jesus to everyone and everyone to Jesus. Bless the young who were your great passion. Help them dream again. Help them look up high again to find the light that illuminates the paths of life here on earth. May you bless families, bless each family, you warned of Satan's assault against this precious and indispensable divine spark that God lit on earth. Saint John Paul, with your prayer, may you protect the family and every life that blossoms from the family. Pray for the whole world, which is still marked by tensions, wars, and injustice. You tackled war by invoking dialogue and planting the seeds of love. Pray for us so that we may be tireless sowers of peace. O Saint John Paul, from heaven's window, where we see you next to Mary, send God's blessing down upon us all. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. Starting today, this morning, the replica image which comes from Fatima will be exposed for the faithful so that we could all together pray for peace and conversion, especially in these times that we see conflict, wars, and violence. And we also exposed the blood relic of Saint John Paul II. This is a unique relic because it is a small vial filled with a uh, liquid blood of Pope Saint John Paul II. And we know how Saint John Paul II is intimately devoted to Our Lady of Fatima, especially in praying for peace in the world. The image of Our Lady and the blood relic of St. John Paul II will remain in the coming weeks as Pope Francis calls us to prayer for peace. This coming Wednesday is also Ash Wednesday. Our schedule of Masses for Ash Wednesday will be at 7.30 a.m., 12.10 p.m., and another one in the evening at 5.30 p.m. Please uh, follow our Facebook page so that you could follow our announcements for other activities during Ash Wednesday, especially our schedule of confession for those who may want to avail of the sacrament of confession this coming Ash Wednesday. We will be providing priests for confession. Let us all stand to receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.